Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can customize craft spaces. First, let's create a new space in craft. Um, if you go in there, you can create a new space using this uh, button here. Click on this. I'll create a new space, a regular one, which will synchronize across your devices. I'll give it a name, demo. I'll hit create. I'll wait for the space to be created. And then you'll be uh, prompt to invite people to this newly uh, created space, which I'll skip. And the way to skip that is to just close the window here. And then you are presented with uh, two default document uh, to help you get started with your new space. Uh, if you look on the left there, there's a, a uh, bar where you, you can switch uh, between spaces. And if I right click on this and open space settings, you'll see that the icon is pretty generic and the letter there is the first letter of your first word describing your space. So the idea here is to customize the appearance of your space uh, by changing the icon and uh, maybe giving uh, give it a, a more meaningful uh, name to it. Um, as I stated in a previous YouTube video regarding why we should create spaces, um, the, the, the first thing you want to set is the, the, the actual um, space name, which is meaningful to you and represents uh, somehow the content of this space. Uh, but as you can see on the left here, uh, you can switch uh, between different spaces, but the visual cue you get is the, the name of the space and also uh, the icon. So to change the icon is, um, is very simple. Uh, you can import any uh, PNG uh, file and it will replace uh, the content of the icon with the content of the, of the file you are importing. Uh, for uh, me, uh, I'll use Keynote to build a, uh, an icon from scratch. Um, as you can see already, I used um, some sort of, uh, if I close that and I go back in the space switcher, I'm kind of using the same branding uh, for, uh, for each spaces uh, in order to uh, present a, get a coherent, visual ple visually pleasing um, uh, look. So uh, again, uh, what I'll do is I'll just change the, uh, the icon uh, using uh, Keynote. I'll, I'll build uh, one and I'll, then I'll import that into uh, Craft. So let me jump into Keynote and I'll show you exactly what's the process overall. Uh, what you see here is uh, it's, a, it's an icon I created uh, using a, a picture a background which I use everywhere for my uh, personal branding as a content creator. Um, and what I did is to create a, a um, rounded square, uh, which uh, I'll use the um, this um, uh, uh, rounded rectangle uh, object here. And then I can move it there. Um, and as soon as I hit uh, the uh, 500, it doesn't need to be 500 uh, pixel um, in size on each side, uh, but I think it's a comfortable size in order to be able to work with it. Uh, and then you can change the background of the square as you wish. You can use a color fill. You can use a gradient fill um, or a more advanced one if you want to uh, add other um, uh, kind of uh, color within the um, uh, object you want to create. Uh, for me, for this case, I'll just use the uh, standard uh, gradient uh, fill. And then um, after that, you'll uh, need to type some text. Um, so I'll type demo. And as you can see, the size is way too small. So I'll increase that using the text 
uh, here. And then I'll increase that to the size that I think it, uh, it's, uh, it's good. And then I'll make sure that I, I'm using the, uh, the same one that I did on the right here. And remember that in craft, the, the text size is smaller. So you have to make sure that the, the, the size here is bigger as much as possible so you can um, fit it in fit it in the, in the in the in the box and then um, the next thing to do is to use mac os uh, screenshot uh, capabilities uh, to take a screenshot of this space here so what i'll do is just hit uh, command shift 4 um, and then i select the uh, the area where i'll um, and close the actual icon I'm building. Uh, here I'm using um, a clean shot, but you'll get a similar experience if you use the built-in uh, screenshot um, um, feature of macOS. So I'll save this, this file and then I'll do some edit using preview. So I'll switch to preview. I'll go back on the finder, hide this window, and then I'll double click on this uh, uh, screenshot. And then what you see here is uh, the preview application that comes with uh, Mac OS. Uh, the first thing to do is to enter in edit mode and then I'll select the uh, instant alpha uh, tool, which I'll be using to remove the white portion of the, uh, the icon. And, and then I'll hit backspace on uh, the keyboard to remove it and have a transparent background surrounding the actual icon. And then the next step is to uh, use the rectangle selection and then uh, select the icon the closest you can get to the edge of each uh, side and then um, once once it's done you just uh, hit the command key to remove it so now we have the actual icon that i'll be importing in craft so i'll save that file and then I'll switch to craft. And now I'll tap on the icon there, select the file, open, and then it will open uh, the file and set the icon to the uh, image I just built. So that's the way I did, that's the, the thing I did for all the other uh, spaces I'm using uh, for my craft environment. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, so I encourage you to try the same thing uh, on, your, uh, on your environment. I hope this uh, quick video uh, was helpful. If you liked it, just hit like. Uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm publishing videos uh, often. Uh, thank you for watching and see you. Bye.